What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today just a quick filler video. I know you guys love filler content, uh, but we're going to talk about some materials that we were talking about these on stream and I was actually surprised by the sheer amount of people that didn't realize that these materials were a thing. Now the reason why I like to talk about materials, especially if you guys haven't seen these in your item archives or things like that, is because they potentially could be for future characters and or recipes. Uh, these were actually pointed out to me as well from the stream so outside of you know the stuff that we already know about there are, are three items in particular that have recently popped up with the onset of 1.1 that were not in the game before these three items happen to be loach pearls and typically speaking i've noticed that that most of the time ingredients that are used to upgrade characters are typically listed like this and they're just found in the wild right um Exceptions to that rule, of course, are the Juyun chilies, which are also found in the wild, but they're also used for cooking and also used for character ascension as well. However, uh, these loach pearls could end up potentially being a character material, and we'll talk about how to get these as well, but we'll get into that here in a second. The other two items include the bamboo shoot. If you guys haven't found this one yet, I'll show this one to you too. And last but not least, the horsetail. Now, there is another item called the luminescent spine that you guys can get from the fireflies, but I'm just not mentioning this one. I don't know. I mean, it's it's for medicine, medicine and recovering strength. So maybe this could be for like some future alchemy stuff. But the reason why I was so concerned with these materials is because just like the star conch that happened to pop up shortly before Child was released, uh, a lot of these materials could be a potential thing that you might want to pay attention to, especially as, you know, we have new content coming like Dragon, Spine, and then of course uh, potentially even dendro heroes soon soon TM meaning like <laughs> the next three months or so um, but let's get into how to find these materials just in case you guys have missed them now first and foremost I want to talk about the loach pearl the loach pearl I actually didn't even know was a thing because again you guys can go into your actual archive and check the materials tab and it'll tell you materials that you haven't found yet uh, this is, it's a very good idea to keep an eye on this list mainly because if things are grayed out means that it's new and you probably haven't found it yet. <laughs> so the big thing here is when I found this one, it was from a lizard that looked a little bit different that happened to be running around right under this bridge. Um, I haven't tracked down where to find any more of the loaches uh, with the pearls. So if you guys know or if you guys have encountered them uh, who are watching this video, please let us know in the comment box as well uh, so other people can find these uh, easier. I don't know if these just drop from all of the lizards themselves or if that particular brand or style or species of lizard is the only one that dropped them. Um, but if that is the case, these definitely could be something that we could have to use for crafting materials and or ascension materials later for characters. Now, the next place we're going to end up is over here by King Sea Village. Um, if you guys are running along this road, uh, you guys should be able to find bamboo shoots all throughout this area. Uh, they are, they're planted all throughout here. If you guys haven't noticed these yet, I definitely would pick these up. Just because if you guys aren't doing anything else, and you guys are just you know running around, opening chests, unlocking waypoints, and stuff like that, um, it can't hurt you to pick up these materials along the way. And last but not least, it's going to take us back to Dehua Marsh, the same place that we found the bridge for... The, uh, the loach pearls, of course, and what you guys are going to look for here is something called silvergrass. Now, silvergrass kind of just looks like wheat. This is what silvergrass looks like. And throughout Dehua Marsh, uh, with the silvergrass, you guys can find these horsetails. Oh, oh, and there's a lizard. Loach lizard. Oh, yo, he got away. Okay, well, <laughs> that, that little lizard that you guys just saw run away from me uh, was the lizard that actually has the pearls. So apparently they hang out around here. Uh, so we just kind of answered our own question there. Unfortunately, I just missed him. He hit the water fast. Man, dang, man, we missed him. All right, but with the uh, the horse sales, you guys can collect those. Um, I don't know what character they're going to be used. I've been trying to pay attention to, like, the leaks and stuff like that, uh, which we won't talk about here. But I haven't seen any of these materials used for any particular characters yet. But that doesn't mean that they won't be used in the future for different recipes and things of that nature. Now, another cool thing, though, if you guys are looking for the horse tail... You guys can teleport to Leeway Harbor. And if you guys run up to the top of the map here, over here at Boo Boo Pharmacy, uh, they actually sell them here too. So if you guys are looking to, you know, offset the farm time and you guys are just trying to utilize the shop, then you guys can go here. You guys can also buy these here. Um, and I would also pick up these Kingshins as well uh, for those of you guys who are looking to build Shao in the future and another particular character that I won't mention here today. Uh, but you guys can uh, definitely get those as well. So that can help you guys out. 
Anyway guys, um, I just wanted to take a little bit of time and uh, give you guys some information on how to find these materials just in case you guys haven't found them yet uh, because Genshin Impact has a tendency to add extra things in the game for characters and items that haven't quite yet been released uh, just to kind of flesh out the world and they just kind of sit there and nobody really notices them until it's too late. So if you guys are around any of those areas and see those materials, please feel free to pick them up because it can definitely offset your farm time in the future. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.